This forum provides a unique opportunity uh, for all of us to share ideas, learn from one another, and reflect on the options we have if we are to accelerate education and achieve our desired learning outcomes. One example of a program we have in Rwanda to improve learning outcomes is EDT's BLF program. And the Building Learning Foundations program has demonstrated its effectiveness through its work to support early grade learning, including training over 40,000 grade one to three primary teachers, providing courses on English proficiency for teachers and leadership for learning for head teachers. We know that one of the biggest challenges every government is facing, and particularly governments uh, in East Africa, is to do with what we're calling the learning gap. So we know there's a foundational learning challenge, um, and what we're trying to help people to understand is, uh, at the foundational level, how do you help children to catch up? So what's the purpose? Bringing people together uh, to think about and talk about learning recovery but particularly learning recovery for those children that have fallen behind. There were children falling behind before COVID and it's been made worse because of COVID. So to bring people together and to discuss strategies, things that you're already doing, but how can you improve what you're already doing by learning from and listening to your counterparts in other countries and also being stimulated by things that are happening outside the region too. So to do any type of planning, uh, to design any type of, rem you know, however we define accelerated learning, a recovery plan, a remediation, any, to any of those programs, we need to understand where we are, where the disparities are within school or across regions, any other dimensions of inequality. We know that COVID was not only health-related issue, it cut across, but given the fact that now health has become a global security issue, and there's a lot of cross-border problems. So I did not hear much about school health policy arising out of this experience from the COVID. So I think all this, um, experience that we came out of COVID should make us think how to come up with school health policy so that in case of any eventuality, any other thing that may arise in future, we may always be prepared and we have response planned.